to today's annual stream of the Hangar Rampa. My name is Pixaron, and as today's host, we're gonna continue on with where we left off yesterday's stream in chapter 4. Possibly murder, possibly sadness. What am I talking about? Absolutely! Because Hina called us over to the rec room. And she appears to be mm, quite, I don't know, scared. Let's go over that. Kodo, Kyoko, he know what's wrong. Something's not right. In the rec room, what's inside? There was a window in the rec room door and I heard to look inside. And when I did, Sakura. Shit. Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? She's walking past and I happen to notice her through the window. I can get the door open. That is bad news bears. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. So, what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway... First of all, we need to get into that room. Door's locked, right? If you break in, we'll be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said... Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the direct room doesn't... The door doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why... It would seem... It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it a chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, this door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then, there's no problem if you break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay. I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here. This is bad. Oh no, she's probably dead and it makes me feel sad to think about that. Side track from Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Kyoko didn't reply. Damn it! There was only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom in the classroom. Use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Come on, please, hurry! Okay, you two, stand back! Took hold of room and swung as hard as I could. Aiming directly at the window, all it took was one solid hit. Crash like a mother trucker. My god. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the room floor. The rec room floor, rather. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair, leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just push it on it with all my strength, and finally, the knob turned. What the knob? Sakura! I ran up there as fast as I could. But the moment I laid my hand on her, Uh, she was smiling. All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... Hmm. Not good. A body has been discovered! Lovely. After a 
certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Mm, I hate you so much. Mm, that life. Mm, Prince Batman, why? Huh? Sakura's. Sakura's. Oh no. Dead? No. She's really dead? Why? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. I would only look on at Sakura's dead body. I didn't make it in time. It happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming that Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. And shaky like seen a lot of the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I... I need to examine Sakura's body. We just stood there, motionless behind her, while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing, time just... passed. And after I don't know how long... I got everyone. What? Ogre? Mm, yes, yes! Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed. I see. As soon as I arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Interesting. Sakura was murdered. And by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her, it's not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It's one of you. Hiro Byakuya Toko. One of you killed Sakura. What? 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 You're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation? <laughs> I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. Hated the sight of her. I won't forgive you. One of you did it, I know it. You know it? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Yes, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on! Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's the Monokuma That's right. file! It's the next Monokuma file! <laughs> Don't get so mad, Miss Asahina, or you're gonna get ruined that lewd little face of yours. Hmm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. Something I want to ask you. Huh? Wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Say what? Uh, huh? Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her father again and... In other words... Then I killed her. Hmm? Sorry. Not quite. Actually, not even close. <laughs> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Phew! Which, thank God for that. It saved me the trouble of having to go through without a little fight. Because <laughs> even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey! Um... I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violate her rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. Well done! So, I don't know who it was, but whoever the blacken is this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie. 
Before you get all this pissy party at me, you better figure out who did it first. Sing! Because I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What the hell? He owes them one? I won't forgive you. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I, for one, am glad it was up. She was working for the mastermind after all. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway... Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. And then let's decide who will send guard this time. I'll do it. Ina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina is guard number one. But we need one more. Hmm. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. Uh, an order? That's fine. I'm, I'll stay behind. Hmm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on! Hold on. There's something I want to say. What? Which is... You old Byakuya Toko. None of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? What? It's your fault! One of you killed Sakura. I won't forgive you. Don't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. Not killing the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Shh. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask you to let all of us in. Just let me. What? What? Hmm. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope. Don't really care. Uh -huh. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving master anyway. Hmm. And you, hero? Do you really object? Uh um, if you better go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing is decided. Calm down. I feel you. But you should agree to his request. But, but... Hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive, to honor Sakura's memory. I... I guess that's okay. No matter what. Pyakia, absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally. Who'd want to touch a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Erin, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer... Listen to me. All of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura? It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. All right. And so it's begun. I'd better check the Monokuma file before anything else. The victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point, the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. That's interesting. Hey! I think the case this time may, might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the girl would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there was no way in or no way in or out till we broke the window, that's like zero escape, right? In other words. 
This is a classic lockroom murder. Lockroom murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. Couldn't really happen in real life. And right before our very eyes like this. Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a lockroom murder entails? Sh sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits his crime and through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that all we'd have to do is shut the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. The second type is when the lock room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the car uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, something like that. However... But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in this code, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words... They stay hidden, and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible. Maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it was an actual locked room at all. Not a locked room. In other words. By that I mean there actually is an altered escape route somewhere within the room. You see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible. Then you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So, when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko, which of those four choices seems the most likely in this case? It's true. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room, until I figured that out, the true night soccer is definitely stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery, I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For soccer, if nothing else. Okay, let's begin for real. Hmm. First of all, I'm gonna check the locker. Because I saw it was open when we looked through the door's window. Oh, the locker's open. And there on the inside, it's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. And it looks quite fresh too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker and I left behind a little something extra. So then... Maybe the killer hid in here until the locker room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Oh, why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we locked inside the room. Looked inside the room, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then... What does this handprint mean? Why would someone go in there? That's weird. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each bottle, there's some kind of monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, 
Can I get those figures inside the bottles? I think that's important at all. So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside. You've never seen that? Oh yeah. Maybe I have. In other words... So this is the Monokuma version of that. A... Monokuma bottle, if you will. Monokuma bottle! Right. Looks like red glass. There are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The spread is all red and... These are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. Hmm. Seems like a monocoma bottle though. Huh? There's something else in the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a monocoma figure. Figure on the floor. I feel like I'm starting finally starting to make sense of things little by little. The monocoma bottle is sitting on the shelf. The monocoma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a monocoma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the monocoma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the monocoma bottle was the weapon. I have to agree. And was a pool of blood. Maybe that's where she, Sakura vomited. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Must have, must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Good point. We're gonna have to look into that. Maybe handkerchief. Oh no. It's a wrapper. Huh? That's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well... Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got up super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So, after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura? I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like it. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? Cause, I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, I've lost all that flavor. Hina. Pocket out, candy wrapper. That's really sad. Uh, this thing here. Oh yeah, the chair. We moved that, didn't we, when we opened the door? The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. So it was just moved there. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the edges of the room. Protein Zim X. Sakura and Hina were talking about that David discovered the cam lab on the fourth floor though. Must have come from there. So... Plus it did say cam A2 on it. It looks like a protein drink. And it's empty. No strings attached. That's, I guess that is a cup of worthy statement. Iceman. Sakura, Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. She mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. 
<laughs> 10 out of 10 would never choke again. Oh, uh, anyway. That reminds me. Sakura mentioned how the chem lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. Well, that's strange. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Hey. You see what's getting around the chem? Shards of light blue glass. It must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to take want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. An important clue? I'm not sure I see how. Why would it... Right, we broke the window, so that's why there's shards of glass around on the floor. But there's shards of glass underneath the goddamn bottle. So... Door is the only way in, in or out of the rec room. Door doesn't have a lock and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tempered with. The only one notable to change the door is the smashed window. Which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning, and the door from opening. And there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the car must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Gotcha. I'm still thinking about the bottle. It either rolled onto the glass shards from I don't even know where. And the other possibility is that it was placed there by someone. I don't know how or when, but someone placed it there after we came into this room. Suspicious. <laughs> Why is that? Interruptible. That same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here. Uh, I guess... Is that really all? Alright. Then... Let's talk with everyone before we investigate the body itself. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Go away. He's not even trying to hide how much he despises me. I'd better go before he crushes my soul completely. Good point. However, But for Sakura to have been killed? Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. She certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist. Strong in body, mind and spirit. So, how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder... Did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. They would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Cowards. What the heck? Nothing else to say about the killer. We already know who did it. I won't forgive you. The Akia Tokor hero. It had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Uh, well, I don't want to see anything for sure without finding out more. And let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? Really? That's interesting. 
after I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. When I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The monochrome file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I had it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry. That she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I had stopped her, by force even, this never would have happened. Ina. Ah. Uh, sad, really sad. It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. Eyes account. But the fact that she asked those three to meet with her. She asked them to come to the rec room at noon. The same time and place she ended up dying. Hey, it's my boy Isaac. It might be good to confirm what I just heard with three of them die directly. Uh, let's see. Let's investigate Sakura herself. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the f blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. I can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So, what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Hmm. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Hmm. Not a chance. Byakuya. Yeah. That's fine. However, you, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, the first time I saw her, Sakura, I honestly thought she was a dude. But then the dialogue told me that she was a girl. And I was like, what the fuck? I did wonder why a dude would wear skirts and stuff. And I got my answer straight up to my face. Oof. But it does make me wonder. Yeah, how she's a grill. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Can I leave? I think them. What do you want me to do? Maybe I gotta talk to Byakuya. What? Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then it's true. <laughs> I did receive a note of that effect. Yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? <laughs> Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Squeaky door. Byakuya says he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept this. Accept it as fact. Come on! If you're all finished, Please remove yourself from my sight. Oh, okay. Thanks. There we go, Byakuya's account. We shall move Listen. on. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Most likely. Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then... Then you should probably go talk with people now. 
I'm on guard today, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's got a lot more pushes since we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura so wanted to meet with the two other people. I have to hear what they have to say. I might as well go and do that. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Ah, thanks. Thanks, game, for putting me back. Let's hurry this up. Let's go, go. Let's Ishimaru or, you know, Taka, the Super Saiyan. That's Mondo. That's me. That's Byakuya. Say Sayaka. Rip. Junko. Also rip. Toko, there she is. I press the doorbell. Bang bong! Bang bong! After a few seconds. That's my doorbell sound effect. I hope you enjoyed it. Hmm? Who, who's there? Here's Johnny! Ugh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well? What do you want? Well, first of all, take a breath, maybe take some antidepressants. So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. She's still a more positive person than you are. I was in such a good mood, too. Is this your good mood? She didn't look like she was in a good mood, Jesus. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Do you want to have a bad time? <laughs> what? Obviously no, it took us out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't know what you're t t talking about. Byaku already told me she had asked to meet with him. <laughs> what? She w w wanted to meet with Master too? Uh, oh, I just said too, didn't I? Yeah. I guess now it's t totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? <laughs> hey, I uh, admit, I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. <laughs> Is that good enough? I'm going back to m my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Well then, time to talk with Wade, man. There's Sakura. Where's Batman? Where are you, Weed man? That's Leon. Fuck him. Let's film me. Hamster face. Hero. Weed man! I press the doorbell. Bang dong, bang bong! After a few seconds, you know. Oh, what's up, Makoro? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? God? Oh, how do you know about that? Could it be? Uh, you may be gazing into my soul. Your special ability is awakening you. Uh, um, oh not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaku and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Oh, well... Uh, um... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? <sighs> yeah, a note, she, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person. And she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So, 
Then you went and met with Sakura. You got it all wrong! No way, I totally didn't. Would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, last time I saw Ogre was when Hitler got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. Huh? D don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then. She didn't give you the thing then. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um... Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. If that's the last time... That couldn't have been the last time you saw her because she didn't give you the note then. Why are you talking about the lying sack of nipples? You suspicious weed man? Hero was feeling around in his pockets. He's the worst liar in the world. Hey, come on! Ah, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something further to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pockets. Huh? It's the exact same pocket that wrapper. Huh? What? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on! <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash. What? 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 Uh, anyway, I can't deny that old grass made with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for the reply, he quickly slipped back into his room. Like a lying sack of nipples. He said that was just trash, but. There's no way that's all there was to it. Bucket trash. Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hero. Um, what next? I definitely have to go look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can before we protein can be found on the floor of the. Yeah, Jesus, I can't speak. Maybe I should find out more about the protein can be found on the floor of the rec room. There you go. I'm sure it must have come from the cam lab. So, where should I start? We're gonna start with the cam lab. This is the furthest away. Uh. I don't like this case very much. Well, because Sakura is dead. I like Sakura. Out of all the characters who was, who was like the victim. Also like Zeka, Jinko. I did like Hamsterface and Mondo. So that's not that much. I'm really small. I mean... My eyes are only but like... Why is it below where the doorknob is? That's how small I am. I might as well be a midget. Or a dwarf. I am Torbjorn! I'm the Japanese equivalent of Torbjorn. Anyway, here we are at the cam lab. What? Makoto, you have your eye on the cam lab too. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. Nob. So, did you find out anything? Somehow I can sense him saying leave me alone without him even having to say it. He's a douche! This isn't my first time seeing the show. I just can't get over how big it is. What is with blonde hair, glasses wearing motherfuckers on this sh on this Twitch channel? All of them are douches. First it's it's cars, now it's Biakia. What is this? <sighs> this is my first time seeing the show, but I just can't get over how big it is. I feel like I read this sign just a second ago. I should probably take a closer look at it. 
looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? Be careful not to step in it. Six things to check. Uh, um, Let's check this first. Obvious footprints are obvious. These are footprints. And they're only in front of the shelf. Hmm. How do did, how did these footprints run to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer? With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop chop. Okay. So I got to work, and before long, I drawn up a sketch of the room. Um. So how is this? I guess it's acceptable. Well, I won't be able to draw any better. <laughs> Not bad for you. I mean, for me. I see. So, when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. It's certainly possible. Makoto, are they yours? No, it's not! You what? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I can't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Byakuya said. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Oh, so I'm small, but I have big feet. A Bigfoot! Unfortunately, I must admit, these are not your footprints. Wow, unfortunately. Thanks, bruv. Hmm. But with how clear these foot these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these prints are a really valuable clue. Good. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. Oh, it's, it's poison. Lovely. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things and out, things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words, that's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. And that really is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Sorry if you can hear that background noise. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. So it looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. Based on the position of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakuya, the powder would have would had to have been spilled right around the time of incident. That's all I can tell for now. Nice. Um, now let's check the shelves, shall we? Let's see, what's on this shelf? What the? Why is there a Chem C9? Why is there a deadly poison in like supplements and. Why is there. Why? Why is it there? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and. dietary. Supplements and different medicines. The protein deer rink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. Two containers on this shelf are labeled with 
the lottery and the number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving on, on unit section A. Huh? But wait! There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? That's an important clue. So, on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. Rubber engines. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must surely be bliss. Isn't that kinda harsh? What? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now we need to focus on the shelf. All the containers in this shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. That's good, that's good news. On this shelf is... One look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. This looks like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. I'll say 9 though. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. Yeah, but where's unit section D? Am I right? I should try to find out more about this shelving unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, Section B has regions, and Section C has little chemicals. And Section C has nothing to do with this. Because it doesn't exist. Also, I didn't have a joke prepared. I also couldn't think one because I'm not funny. So I can myself getting the protein powder from section A anyway. But what, what concerns me is that in section A there was a bottle of it labeled from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on there. I've already taken a good look at the cam lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. Okay. How many evidence are together? Seventy. Oh, we're almost done. Then that was pretty fast. I see. Mikoto, I admit you have a good eye for spotting your school clues. <laughs> but you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. And uh, if you're looking back at uh, the past class trials, I think I did pretty well on my own. And then I have a feeling I'm gonna even, I'm gonna do even better in the second game, unless it's fucking Hangman's Gambit, because Hangman's Gambit is the literal hell in that game. That mini game can suck a big dong. Hey. So Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. So long with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway... Well, I made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. It'd do well to look them over one more time. What do I need to check again? The Monokuma bottle does... Shelf and... I guess exactly herself. Let's check with this. Yuko said the magazine chef was hiding a clue of some kind. Mm, clue, clue. Huh? This magazine is upside down. Miss Muscle. What? 
Miss Muscle appears. My god, she's a buff bitch. Uh... Wow, cosplay king. Huh. That's interesting magazine. Interesting upside down magazine. Someone put it back that way an accident. Hey! If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through the and flipped through it. Holy shit, it's a stoko! This is all the pages near the center of the magazine. What had been written in blood in bold bloody letters. And it said Toko. Could this be a dying message? Correct. And for the beer you found it. Toko, is this So It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it. For the benefit of others who might come looking. Um Hey, is that that's a Stoko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? She's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet, and it seems a bit obvious if you ask me. I will forgive you. It's settled. She is the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Hmm. Right. Uh. Sakura? According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just starting off into space isn't going to help you figure out anything. Well, well yeah, I know, but. Hey! Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recall at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. <laughs> but that a grill touching a dead grill? That's that's weird. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there are still some times I can't believe how calm you are. I don't know how many times you see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you so... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. Wow. What? <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Hey. Unimportantly, look here. Yellow powder? Like the poison? Her shoes? Correct. You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is clue number one. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. So let me just explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. So our poor girl has been smacked twice in the head by our assailant. And if she has no blood in her hand or her fingers at all, then that means that she couldn't have written the dying message. And that would also explain why it's hidden. Because obviously you would want people to see it. It wouldn't make sense for you to just hide it. Hiding drops it down. True, it might stand out a bit, but there's no reason to do that. I don't feel like. I can't believe she was able to learn on that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Then. There's one last thing for us to check, I believe. 20 evidence, Jesus. 
And I feel like it's gonna be 21 by the time you check this. I think Kyoko said she'd found a new clue involving the Monokoma bottles. Something new. Something new. Mm. Hey. So, did you figure out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay fa careful attention and you're sure to find it. A correlation. Well, that's just pieces. Um. Thank you. Can't you just tell me what it is? So. I don't mind guiding you toward close, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. It's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Ah, oh, man. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byakuya is not here, so... So then... Anyway, I have to go get something from the camera. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. And I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I'd better just do it. Took the broom and the dustpan. We got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. Also, I remember that there were six Monokuma bottles. <laughs> and two of them are gone. I must have been the murder weapon. Like... Not the murder weapon per se. Because I feel like there is poison involved in this. But those two Monokuma bottles were used to smack her in the head. To smack him! To smack him! And just as I finished up. Sorry to keep you waiting. So then... Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words... I got a scale from the camera lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? <clears throat> the pieces of glass you collected, and one of the monochrome bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Completely equal. It's balance. In other words... Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then... Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, then let's give it a try. Huh? It's actually heavier. The broken pieces are heavier? Huh, where'd you look at that? How is it possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words... The results of our experiment and the correlation between the, each of the bottles were all hey. together. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Oh shit. Oh uh, no, the time has come. Hello? Whoops, he had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Wow, feels bad, man. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? 
Might as well. Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Probably. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon, Manakuma. It's already time. The mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Oh boy. Oops. There we go. Centralized. Well, as much as I could. Oh my god. Really? That's all that's left of us? This is... This is just so... Small! When Koma made his announcement, everyone began to meet up, one after another. This room just looks small. At the beginning of the game, it looks so full, like it's just way too crammed, and now it's just empty. This is just baffling, honestly. Then... <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! A locked room murder mystery! What? What the... <laughs> oh! I just recently discovered the power of, of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive! Yes, indeed! For example, <laughs> you're at a picnic and you find a dead body! This is just really creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? Phew. No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, hmm. do you have a hundred friends? What? What? It's right. It does make it seem sad. I can't wait. I can't wait. Now then, please get on the elevator. So, now you see, Iceman, it's not all that good if you have friends. It can seem sad as well if you have lots of friends. That is why my soul is just sad. <laughs> I'll see you all down there! <laughs> what the hell was that? <sighs> I don't get it. Just the worst! I don't get you guys! How can you act so casual after murdering someone? D don't look at me! I don't think I'm acting casual. Don't be mean! I mean, I didn't murder anyone! <laughs> what yeah, the I'm heck? Completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. <laughs> Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt, one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. <laughs> She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet, someone killed her. And that person is here. That person is one of us. D don't look at me! Oh, you said it before and I'll say it again. It wasn't me! Hm. The culprit is one of us. Make no mistake about that. Because I t t didn't do it. How many times do I have to tell you? What the heck? I mean, just stand there and say you didn't do it without even breaking a sweat. Hey. Standing around here isn't going to do any good. Let's get going. All right, come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward the elevator, but with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. Many time, no matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. 
have climbed into our cell prison in total silence. We watched the door close and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar clunking sounds. It fell lower and lower, and as suddenly as always, the ride was over. Doors opened once again. Hmm. What's with the Egyptian style? Hmm, just the six of you, huh? Really? This is kind of That's crazy. so few! You must be so lonely. Say that like it's not your fault we're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or <laughs> will your school life come to an end completely? Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so, curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly offense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Yes, I do want to say thank you very much, but... Uh, here we are, once again, at the beginning of the class show, but we're not gonna do the class trial. HELL NO! We're not gonna do it. How much does this take for? Oh, frick a frack you. Neural liberation. Well, this way is vocabulary. Alright. So we get quite enough skill points, so we're gonna have to gather a little bit more the next time. We need... Uh, we needed one more. Well, we're gonna be able to gather that with Kyoko next time. Your liberation would be such a good skill though to use. I might just try and get that. Since we got MVS influence. So yeah, um That marks the end of our stream, laddies. Uh because I just don't want this stream to get too long. And someone might want to stream after this, so who knows? Maybe I'll get to see something interesting. More interesting than this, anyway. Don't know what it'll be, but it would be fun, I guess. I will continue, however. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe today, if I have the time. Let's say three or four hours time. If that's okay with you, laddies. But anyway. That's the end. Thank you again for so much for watching and listening and maybe i'll see you guys in the next stream hopefully please come i'm lonely i'm desperate except the company because i do love talking to you guys but anyway yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye